And what we found was extraordinary. I mean, I knew there was going to be a lot. The sheer number of people who are going to be walking around with diabetes is so much greater because they'll have more years to have diabetes and more years to get complications uh, now at a, at a younger and younger age. The mission of the Whittier Institute 25 years ago was to really offer the best care, education, and research around diabetes, and we continue to do that today. Two San Diego hospitals are ranked among the best in America in several specialty areas. Scripps Memorial in La Jolla ranked in two categories, the highest in endocrinology, they're number 20. The rankings are in the best hospitals. That's an annual issue of U.S. News and World Report. It'll be on the newsstands Monday. We developed Project Dulce to be able to teach self-management of diabetes and also uh, case management using nurses working directly with their physicians, really allows optimal care of diabetes. Diabetes is a disease that can lead to blindness, to amputation, and early death. It is two times more likely to strike Latinos than Caucasians. 21 million Americans have diabetes, but how many others have it and don't even know? With this little device here, you actually insert a little sensor just underneath the skin and it wirelessly transmits your blood sugars every five minutes onto this little screen. We feel it's incredibly important to train professionals and that includes doctors, nurses, dietitians, pharmacists, uh, nurse practitioners in the latest and the greatest in diabetes. There are so many new therapeutic agents, technology that is available to improve diabetes. In the community, uh, we do things as simple as health fairs where we might go out and check your blood pressure, your blood sugar. We do retinal screenings for the eyes. So uh, people with diabetes are at very high risk for developing eye disease, uh, can't even go blind from it. So we do go out into the community and test and if we find anybody positive, those patients are then also referred on for special treatment. We have pockets of people that just can't get to centers where they can get the care that they need. But we're actually providing blood tests. We'll be providing retinal exams. When we look at the back of your eye, there's these little spots here. 55 people will go blind due to complications of diabetes every day. Basic science research offers the first steps in solving the puzzles of diabetes. Our affiliation with Dr. Hayek's Islet Cell Laboratory has been exciting and rewarding. We also offer clinical research programs. Only through clinical research can we really discover new ways to treat diabetes, new therapies, and we, by going out into the community, we allow patients to participate in these as well. And uh, they help us and we help them in the long run. I was moody all the time with my family. I couldn't work because I was sleepy most of the time. Ernesto's glucose levels soared over 500 until he got involved in the study with Genuvia. Not only did his blood sugar levels drop dramatically, he lost weight. I feel that uh, this is my second youth. This new weapon for controlling type 2 diabetes is just what the doctor ordered. <laughs>